sweetie. Thank you, sir. Do you know the Easter Bunny? Why, yes, I do. He's a close personal friend of mine. Wow, Papa, did you hear that? He's a friend of the Easter Bunny. Thank you, sir. We're rest assured we do know the true meaning of Easter. The true meaning? She does realize the real reason for the holiday. Okay, that's nice. You have a good day, sir. Hi, Mark. Bernie? All ready for Easter? Yeah, is the Pope going to be praying for peace once again this year? Smart ass. Bernie? Yeah? Do you believe in the Easter Bunny? Sure. Seriously, this guy over here with his granddaughter thinks his beliefs are more truer than hers. And you're of the impression that they're the same? Well, I would swear by it. Really? Based on what? I don't know, reality. Prove there is no God. You can't prove a negative, Bernie. Prove there's no Easter Bunny. Prove there's no dragons or unicorns. In your mind, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Can you see the wind? It can be proven to exist, but you can see the results of it. Well, you can see the results of God. Really? What are those? Well, all around you. I mean, trees, flowers, anything in nature. All those things can be proven by science. I mean, a thousand years ago, you guys thought the Earth was flat and you were right in the center of it. And people act like you know it all. Oh, really? Yeah, what about this? So, you're a magician now. Do you believe it's gone? Well, no, of course not. It's just a trick. How do you know? Oh, come on. I'm an adult. You can't just make something vanish into thin air. Well, like hell it isn't. I just did. You saw it with your own eyes. What I saw was a magic trick. Well, what do you think the little girl with the Easter egg would have seen? The same thing. No, she would have seen something disappear. She would have ran over to her grandpa and said, with all the conviction and belief in the world, that she saw something vanish right before her eyes. But she's a child. So she's stupid? Well, no, she seems like a bright enough little girl. Well, then what is it? Well, naivety, gullible, trusting. Oh, okay, so you think that she's innocent with her trust and gullibility, but her grandfather, now he's a wise old man, right? Well, he would at least know that it's a trick. Why? Because he's an adult. He's still naive. Why do you want everybody to be an unbeliever? I don't care what people believe. I'm not trying to bust any myths. I, I don't care what you do. You can battle the East or set your hair on fire. I could care less. It makes no difference to me at all, Bernie. What are you trying to say? I mean, like the little girl. I don't think you're stupid. I just think you're, you're too trusting. I mean, it's, it's what you've been taught since you can remember. You people really think you know it all. You know what? It's just the opposite of that. I, I know that I don't know anything. But the problem is, is that believers think that they know it all. They don't know anything, and neither do you. None of us do. But you're an adult. Yeah, but at least I'm open-minded. I mean, I know how hard it is to shed these beliefs that you've had and been taught since childhood, but... I mean, my mother used to take me to every damn church in town trying to find out what was true and what was right for me. I mean, I believed in all that stuff. Noah and the Ark and the burning bushes and the virgin births and the talking snakes. So you're saying that your own mother was not an adult? No, I'm just saying she's too trusting. She thought all these church leaders were correct. I mean, she didn't question their authority or their knowledge. I mean, come on, man. Do you really believe that a woman can be a virgin and give birth to a baby? Well, you get God in the mix, it changes everything. So, okay, so Jesus Christ was the only virgin birth, and it was a miracle from God. Right. Okay. Did you know that there are many Hindu myths about virgin births? And, oh, okay, well, what about the Mayans and uh, sacrificing innocent people? Well, Was that are, right? Those are crazy religions. Well, there are hundreds of religions, Brian. I mean, those people, like you, thought for thousands of years that killing people in the name of religion was right. It's not their fault. It's just what they were taught. They didn't know any better. I mean, you believe that having cattle as gods is nuts, right? Absolutely, heaven, yes. I mean, I think all religions are off the wall, but the main difference between you and I is I think that your religion is just as crazy as theirs. I mean, look at all the people that died in the name of religion. I mean, it's not personal. I, I don't think you're crazy, Bernie. It's just what you believe. But I live my belief. 
I mean, it, it guides my daily choices. I know, I know. You know what? I don't care if you put a towel on your head. I don't care if you lose your faith. Just maybe your innocence. Innocence? I just wish people would understand what it is they believe and why they believe it. I mean, research, parents, the media telling them what to believe. I mean, they don't know any better. It's what they've been taught, but I don't know. Honor thy mother and thy father. I know, it's not easy. I grew up believing all these things, but I've just come to realize that they're just fables and myths. So what harm does it do? I mean, why are you on a, a mission to destroy the myth? When it gets into the way the government operates, that's when I have a serious problem with it. Abortion, gay rights, women's rights, a stem cell, these are all religious-based arguments. These are all issues that need to be dealt with. If you want a government that's run by religion, why don't you move to Iraq or Iran or Israel? Well, you can't deny everything in the Bible. It is a historical document. There's a reason why the Bible is not taught in high school history classes, because it ain't history. I gotta go, but I will pray for it. Oh, God, please don't. You know what, you can talk to yourself till you're blue in the face. Just don't waste your breath on me. You're going to hell, you know. Your God is very vindictive if I have to burn for an eternity just because I don't believe in him in the few short years I am here on this earth. He's giving you a choice. Oh, okay, so it's just a test then. You are going to hell. Yeah, I know. See you next week, Bernie. Happy Easter, Mark. Look at this.